Yo, what's up there, guys? It's Mercy Game 83, and thank you very much for stopping by. Look at the state of my desk. Terrible. Uh, more to the point, though, look at the state of my headphones. These are my normal recording headphones. Really quite a nice microphone, considering. Completely severed the cable, look. Um, so recording at the moment is a problem. I've been trying all kinds of methods, and at the moment, the best one that I've found, I'm going to go through it with you in a second. Normally, the HTC Vive microphone is a no-go. It's shocking. Um, the earbuds, however, are doing okay, so playing games is not a problem. So I've ordered some. They're the ones that I'm getting. Turtle Beaches. They've already been ordered. They've already been paid. I'm waiting for them. I'm also going to try a lapel mic as well, just to see how that, how that is as well. Um, but in the short term, I've got a pretty good solution for anyone wanting to try it out. So the microphone is just underneath the camera. I've cut a bit of a sock off, and I've literally stuck it over the microphone. That's going to act like a pop filter. Um, don't use tape, whatever you do, because that will leave marks on it. But there's this stuff. It's made by Blue Tack. There's probably all sorts of stuff, but they're called glue dots. And I'll see if I can show you in the light. Basically, if you peel it back, um, it's hard to see. You go, you can see it now. They're basically like little rubberized glue, sticky, sticky side, double-sided stickies, but they don't leave marks, and they just literally pull off. So you can roll it into a ball when you're done, and it won't harm whatever you're sticking it to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little test now and cut it in. And next audio you'll be hearing is that from the new pop filter Vive. Okay then guys, so here we are back in the virtual reality steam room. So this is basically my little menu now. I've got my lighthouse up there. I've got my other little lighthouse up there. And as you can see, this pop filter is doing an alright job. I've got some rusty old looking Vive controllers as well, really weathered. But really looks quite nice to be honest. I'm on the airship inside Fallout 4. Someone's made an awesome background. There's a lot of crash planes and all sorts of stuff down here. It's really, really, really cool to be honest. Um, so while I'm here, I might as well show you how I got the Fallout background in Steam VR. Okay, so if you open up your Steam VR menu, uh, you go down to settings. Once you're in your settings, you can go to customize. Once you're in customize, you can change your backgrounds. I've downloaded a few on here, so you can click on that, and then you can browse the workshop. Then, of course, it will load up the workshop, and there's all kinds of stuff for you to choose from. You click it, and it will download. So let's, for example, we'll have a look at The Witcher 3. All right. So I'll click on that, subscribe to it, and then I'll back up, and I'll go back to my settings background and then I should be able to choose it from the list I think it was that one boom look at this this is awesome isn't it so we're in the Witcher 3 background now and it looks sick looks proper good to be honest um, I am sitting down now so uh, I don't think that my lighthouses were seeing me well enough there but they're, they're doing okay um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do on it. You can change play area, in, environments, your base stations, and your controllers. So I've still got these. So it doesn't quite fit at the moment. So let's have a look at controllers. I downloaded this as well, look. <laughs> oh, that's so sick, isn't it? Boom. But these are just all in the menu. So I love the fact that the Steam VR menu is fully customizable. People are making all kinds of stuff with it, and it's really cool. So let, let's find some more skins, see what else we can get. So now it's going to load up. Got some, uh, looks like Portal ones there, Grey Fox. Oh, yeah, Grey Fox ones. Got Kirby, Glitter. Oh, Phaser, Star Trek Phaser. That looks pretty awesome. Rough wood metal, colored buttons. Oh, what we got on there? Is that the, the Batman? Batman controller. Uh, let's have a little look. We'll have a look at some and just see. There's loads. People have made some good ones, you know. Red lightsaber. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll subscribe to that one. And then we'll back up. We'll go back to the settings. 
and then we should be able to choose a lot of sober. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Really, really enjoyable. So anyway, um, let me know what you think about how the microphone sounds. And uh, hopefully this uh, helped, sh helped show you how to customize your environments. This is awesome. Hope to catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.